this is going to be a question and answer video and i'd like to get back into doing these so if you sent me a question i didn't answer it just send it again if i don't reply just send it again until i do reply to the email hensley bible believer at gmail.com and this question is about the day of the lord jesus christ death burial, and resurrection what days did it happen on was it good friday was he crucified on good friday and arose on sunday as most people teach or was it thursday or was it wednesday well first let's look at how many days was jesus dead and buried in mark eight thirty one, it says and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again so we know he's dead for at least three days and then in first corinthians 15 4 paul's given the gospel and he says and that he was buried and that he rose again <clears throat> the third day according to the scriptures so we know it was three days so how many nights in matthew twelve forty, jesus himself said for as jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So what makes a day? Well, in Genesis 1-5, it says, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. The evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening and the morning makes a day. And on the Jewish calendar, the night comes first, then the day. They start it with the evening and then the morning. Whereas we start it with the morning and then the evening. You see, our, we start ours at 12 a.m. Theirs starts at 6 p.m. See, so you have to get that or you're going to be really confused. You're going to be really confused and not understand this if you don't realize, you know, they start their day at 6 p.m. <clears throat> and then it ends the next day at 6 p.m. So their first day of the week for them would be our 6 p.m. on Saturday. And 6 p.m. on Saturday for us starts their Sunday. Now look at this. Jesus was already resurrected before daylight on Sunday. In John 20, in verse 1, it says, The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulcher, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher. So she's already ris he he's already rose from the dead by the time she's there, while it was yet dark on Sunday. So, let's just look at it. Around 6 a.m., the Lord Jesus Christ is sentenced by Pilate. And I believe this was on a Wednesday. Around 6 a.m., Jesus is sentenced by Pilate. In Mark 15, 25, it says it was the third hour when they crucified him. The third hour is 9 a.m. So, Jesus was crucified at night, 9 a.m. on Wednesday. And in Matthew 27, 46 through 50, around the ninth hour, he gave up the ghost. The ninth hour is 3 p.m. So the Lord stayed on the cross six hours and then and died 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Now we're, we're going to look, we're looking at how long was he buried in the heart of the earth as Jonas was three days and three nights in the heart of the earth or as Jonas was three days and three nights in the wells of the so shall the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth so he died on at 3 p.m. on Wednesday and was buried at sundown around 6 p.m. for us on Wednesday so he was crucified Wednesday at 9 a.m. but he didn't get buried until around 6 p.m. Wednesday but this remember now this 6 p.m. on Wednesday would have started their Thursday 
by their by the way that they do it because remember their day starts 6 p.m and remember genesis 1 5 says the evening and the morning were the first day so their day starts with the evening so the lord jesus christ was buried 6 p.m in the evening which would be wednesday night for us but that actually started thursday for them that's key. You have to get that. So remember, the night comes first. And going by their clock, you would say he was buried on Thursday nights, Thursday's night period. And remember, their, their evening comes first to start their day. But that would be when, Wednesday's night period for us. But for them, it's their Thursday's night period. Now remember now that they start their day with the evening first and the morning second. So you have Jesus Christ, listen to this, you have Jesus Christ buried Thursday night, which would be Wednesday night for us. It's their, their night period for Thursday is when he was buried. And then you have, so you have him being buried, he's buried Thursday night, Thursday day, Friday night, Friday day. So you see how I'm, do, I'm starting with the nighttime first and then the day. And then buried Saturday night, Saturday day. So he's in the heart of the earth, Thursday night, Thursday day, Friday night, Friday day, Saturday night, and Saturday day. And he would have a rose sometime right after 6 p.m. on Saturday night, which it would be Saturday night for us, but it would have been the start of the first day of the week for them. It would have been the start of Sunday for them. So that puts him in there three full days and three full nights. And to clear up confusion, I'm going to show you how we would say it, you know, using our clock and how we do it. Um... You see, Jesus was crucified Wednesday at 9 a.m. He was buried Wednesday night at 6 p.m. He was in the heart of the earth all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday, and arose 6 p.m. on Saturday. So he was in there Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. There's your three nights. Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. He was in there Thursday day. He wasn't in there Wednesday day. He was in there Thursday day, Friday day, and Saturday day. There's your three days. And he would have resurrected sometime right after 6 p.m. on Saturday, which this is what makes it confusing. 6 p.m. on Saturday would be their Sunday. And that's what makes him having risen on the first day of the week. And this would have kept him from being in there four nights. He didn't stay in there all that night on Saturday. So let's look at it again. It's just, it can be very confusing. So talking about it how we would say it, he was buried Wednesday night at 6 p.m. But that would be their Thursday. The beginning of their Thursday. Their day starts with nighttime, the evening. But for us, it's just Wednesday night at 6 p.m. And then he was in the heart of the earth all day and night Thursday, all day and night Friday, and all day Saturday. You don't count Wednesday day that he was in there, and you don't count, you, you don't say he was in there all night long Saturday, because at 6 p.m. on Saturday, for them it became Sunday, so he was risen the first day, so you have him in, let's look at how they would view it again, remember their Thursday starts with Wednesday night, their Thursday starts with the evening, it goes the evening and the morning. 
So here is how it goes. He was in there Thursday night and Thursday day. Friday night and Friday day. Saturday night and Saturday day. That's three days and three nights. And then he would have arose after six p sometime right after six PM on Saturday night while it was yet, while it was dark. And it would have been the start of the first day of the week for them. So that's why you have him rising from the dead on Sunday, because six PM Saturday would have been their Sunday. Now, this is how people get that the crucifixion happened on Friday instead of Wednesday. They look at Mark fifteen forty two, which says, And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath. So, the teaching is that since the evening of the Lord's crucifixion was the day before the Sabbath, then the crucifixion had to be on Friday. But the problem is it's not referring to the weekly Sabbath which is obviously Saturday. There is more than just the weekly Sabbath. Jesus was crucified before a Sabbath day, but it was not the weekly Sabbath. It was the Passover. You see, the Passover is also considered a Sabbath, and there's days, there's all kinds of days that's not the weekly Sabbath, but it's still a Sabbath. You could have more than one Sabbath in a week. But it says in John nineteen thirty one, The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was an high day. You see, this Sabbath day that was coming up the day after his crucifixion was not your regular weekly Sabbath. This Sabbath was an high day. And this Sabbath day is the Passover as it says in John nineteen fourteen, and it was the preparation of the Passover. So, Jesus was crucified the day before the Passover. And a big problem with making the crucifixion be on Friday is the fact that you cannot get three nights out of Friday and Saturday with him being already risen early on Sunday, which is the first day of the week. Matthew 12, 40 shows that Jesus would be in the heart of the earth for not only three days, and uh, but also three nights. So you have to rule out Friday. It would have to be at least Thursday. This way you could get three days and three nights, but you still wouldn't get three full days and three full nights, like you would with the way I just told you. So I believe the Lord was crucified on Wednesday. He's crucified on Wednesday. And you don't count all day Wednesday as one of the days because he's not buried until that night, you see. So he's buried by Wednesday night. So he's in the tomb on, on Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. There's your three nights. And then he's in there all day Saturday and resurrected sometime right after 6 p.m. Saturday, which would be Sunday, going by the, the way the Jews look at it. So there's the, the three nights is Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. For, for us, it's Wednesday night he was in there, Thursday night, Friday night. Okay, and then he was in there all day Saturday. So our days, the way we would look at it is he was in there Thursday day, Friday day and Saturday day. There's your three days. So three days and three nights. So you have three three nights, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you have three whole days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And that talks three days and three nights. So why did the Lord have to do three days and three nights? I think it's because the Lord likes to do things in threes. It's the number of completion. God is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Man has Man's made up of a body, soul, and spirit. And also, not only did he do it because he likes to do things in threes, but also to set up a different pattern for Israel from the church. Or set up a different pattern for the church that differs from Israel. You see... He rose from the grave on what would be their Sunday, the first day of the week. 
And in the Bible, the disciples met on the first day of the week and not the Sabbath because the Sabbath was for Israel. So I believe that's why he chose to do it for three days and three nights, not to mention it's prophesied in the Old Testament. You got that. You got Jonah who is going to picture the Lord Jesus Christ being in the well's belly for three days and three nights. So you got the fact that God likes to do things in threes. He's setting up a different pattern for the church. And the fact that Jonah was in the belly of the well for three days and three nights. I mean, it's confusion. I, I feel like I didn't explain it well. Really, to get it down in your head, you may have to just really just study it hard for yourself because since they do the time different and their day starts in the evening at 6 p.m. in the evening it makes it confusing you have to understand that to get how this works but uh if any further questions on that just send me an email